Hi, welcome to Jenny Bit Chats. My name is Kate, and today I'm going to do my TBR for the Trick or Treat Readathon. So this readathon is based all around Halloween, and it's really based around the titles of Stephen King. I actually won't be reading any Stephen King's readathon because he's not somebody I personally really read, but they're all based uh, prompts based around things that happen in his books, like curses and things like that. So this is hosted by. Connor Stompanato, I believe it's pronounced. I will link his channel down below so you can join in if you'd like to. They're hosting lots of things over on Instagram, so if you're not much of a YouTube watcher, there's lots of things to do over there as well. So the first prompt is Doctor Sleep, and it's to read a book before you go to bed. And I will be reading um, stories from the Vintage True Crime Stories book. This is volume one. It's an illustrated anthology of forgotten cases of murder and mayhem. I have read the first one of these because I've just received this, so I'm excited to read the first one. And it was really interesting. It's all about... Um, kind of turn of the century crimes mostly in america and how they were sold and um, pre-dna pre and um, modern techniques uh, like the first one um a private detective just basically befriends a guy and becomes such good friends with him he turns up telling him what happened so it's kind of old-fashioned detective so very interested to read more of these and it's something i can read in bits before bed so that's number one the next is uh, the shining and that is to read a horror book and i'll be reading the midnight game by cynthia murphy you may not immediately think of this as being a horror book but i read another one of her books which ended up being super dark and was definitely horror so i'm looking forward to reading more of her books i've read two of them now and this is the third one of mine to read and um, i really like her books they're set in either England or Ireland and um, they follow kind of older teens so they're, they're kind of fun lighter horror I'm not a big horror reader hence why I'm not reading any Stephen King books but yeah very excited to read this one this one follows a group of people who are friends online and meet up in real life to play a game called the midnight game and things start to go wrong prompt three was probably the hardest one for me to fill and it is a book with a protagonist that you want to protect and I do have a book called the last girl standing by Jennifer Duggan and this is actually about a two girls who were in a um slaying most of the people that had their camp were killed and they survived and then the main character starts to find out that perhaps her partner was actually involved in this rather than one of the survivors and it sounds kind of dark and spooky and if somebody would want to look after someone who survived all of that and then finds out nothing's quite as it seems so yeah looking forward to reading this one and it just sounds quite scary so maybe this is also kind of horror so it's thriller on the back but it definitely has, seems to have horror elements the next prompt is Cujo and that is to read a book with um, an animal in the title or on the cover and as you can see there is the bird on the cover of 49 miles alone by Natalie D Richards I've wanted to read this for ages I've actually had it for probably about two months now and I keep thinking it's the next book I'll read and I picked up yet so it's a really good push to read it and um, this is about uh, two hikers who try to a year ago Katie and her cousin Asta survived like the leather world and friendship fractured Desperate to heal and leave the past behind them, they tackle four days of hiking in the Utah backcountry. The desert they've loved for years has tricks up its sleeve. And it says there are two, four days, two hikers, and one killer. So that sounds really good. And I've liked other... Net- I haven't liked everything I've read about Haley Richards, but I've read a lot of things by her and some of them I've really enjoyed. So looking forward to reading this one. The next prompt is The Mist, and it's to read a book that features monsters. And I have This Delicious Death by Kayla Cottingham. I'm not 100% sure if you would count this as monsters. They're kind of cursed um, with a disease that causes them to eat human flesh. And they now are on like a treatment plan for this and a way to survive. But something else happens during a music festival. So I'm not 100% sure how dark this gets or how much they're considered monsters or it's an illness. But I'm stretching it and I'm using this one because I am looking forward to reading this one. And it just sounds really kind of fun Halloween read. The next prompt is to read a book featuring a curse. And I recently picked up Nora Roberts' The Dark Witch at a thrift shop. I don't read anything Nora Roberts. People love her. I don't like it when books just have the author's picture on the back. But people absolutely love this one. And this is one of the books of hers that I've been recommended more than once because it's so in County Mayo, Ireland, which is an area I've always wanted to live in. Um, my family's from there and I've always wanted to go live there. So I've heard many good things about it and it's supposed to be one of her best ones. So it's a trilogy, I'll see if I like it, I'll see if I like her writing style, but it features a woman who goes back to where her family are from originally and a curse is surrounding the family. So that sounds really good. The next book is It and it was to read a book that came out in 1997 as It did and um, I went through a list of the most popular books that came out this year and actually Harry Potter came out this year. I know a lot of people don't really enjoy this anymore but I've actually owned this copy since the early 2000s and um, it may have actually came out as soon as it came out paperback I had this one so I do want to reread this one so sorry if anyone doesn't like Harry Potter but I, I'm not giving them any extra money I've owned this for years so I'm very excited to read this again and um, it is a world I really enjoy so it's very autumn to me. The next book is a prompt called Gerald's Game I've never heard of this book before but Gerald's Game is another one of Stephen King's books and it features a toxic relationship so that is the prompt to read a book that also features a toxic relationship and I have Trist Six Venom by Penelope Douglas which is a older high school young college I'm not sure um dark romance um, between two girls and it's like a bully romance and I've heard very good things about it but I've owned this for a while now 
and I do own it on audiobook, so I'll be able to listen to this one on audiobook. Yeah, and there's another book that's just come out in the spin off there, so if I enjoy it, there's more to read in this world. But I've always heard good things about this, and I do really like Penelope Douglas, so looking forward to reading this one. And then finally, the last prompt is Misery, and that is to read from an author you have never read from before, and I will be reading Cross My Heart by Roxy Sloan, which is the first in the Oxford Legacy book, and it is about a girl who goes to Oxford University to find out what happened to her sister. I think she actually ends up going into Oxford University, which is actually kind of an achievement in itself. Um, but she goes in to try and find out what happened to sister and ends up being caught up in this like dark um, kind of Oxford cult kind of situation but it's a romance book like a dark romance um, so I'm really looking forward to this it is written by a girl who actually went to Oxford so I think their descriptions of the area and everything will be really good um, it's an area I'm very familiar with although I did go to university in Cambridge so slight rivalry there but I am looking forward to reading it Finally, my Agatha Christie choice for the month of October, which I keep forgetting to include in TBRs, but I am still doing my monthly Agatha Christie challenge, and I'm completely up to date on it, is Funerals Are Fatal, which is a Hercule Poirot mystery, and probably one of my favourite book titles ever. Um, I have no idea what this book is about at all, because the back just says how many books it sold. So I don't know, but I'm guessing it's about somebody's funeral. So we'll find out. And finally, the buzzwordathon prompt was, um, I think it was something to do with like a sibling relationship or name of relationship, like mother-daughter. And I'll be reading Star Daughter by Shavita Thakra. This is a book inspired by Asian mythology, I think particularly Indian mythology, about a girl whose mum was a star. Something like happens to her and she has to go back to the heavens to try and fix it, I believe. I read the synopsis when I first chose it. But this is actually the, I think it's the Fairy Loot special edition. I found it in a thrift shop of 50 cents. It's a really beautiful edition of this book. So hopefully it's really good because it's such a pretty book. So these are all the books I'm going to be reading this month. I've got some YA, I've got some middle grade, I've got some true crime, I've got some dark romance, I've got some horror, mysteries, thrillers. So lots to get on with. Really forward to reading all these books let me know if you've read any of them if you're taking part in the reading plan again i will link everything down below if you're interested if you enjoyed this video please like if you would like to subscribe i'd love to have you around and i'll see you again very soon bye mm-hmm.